Welcome to day five of Mental Health Awareness Week. Our theme is kindness. Now I hope that you've managed to be a little bit kinder to yourself and also others around you. So day one, we had the mind jar, which was helping us to connect ourselves with being a bit kinder, with all our thoughts and our worries and just taking a moment for ourselves. So whether you've made that this week or whether you hope to make it in the future, I hope that it brings you some calm and some kindness to yourself. Day two, we had kindness for others, so communicating a kind word. How did it feel when you gave a kind word to someone else? Seeing them smile, seeing them feel a little bit more loved. Day three, we had laughter. So projecting laughter onto someone else, maybe finding that laughter within the community and also with yourself. We know that research shows that laughter is a great way to, just for a split second, um, relieve stress and help us to forget all our troubles and our worries and whatever's going on around us. Day four, we had kindness for ourselves and also someone else, and that was finding um, kindness on your scavenger hunt. How did you get on yesterday? I hope that you enjoyed all the activities this week. And day five, our activity is an affirmation card. Now, if you haven't created one before, all you need is a piece of paper, pocket size, you can even make it half of this size, and some colouring pens or pencils. An affirmation card, a positive affirmation card. I love the making these for myself and for any of the children that I'm working with normally. This is about thinking of yourself, being um, a self-believer in who you are. And for our kindness theme, you can begin by writing. Affirmation cards always start with I am. Okay, so you can have one, two, or three words to describe who you are, but they are positive words. So you could ask other people who you think are um, family members or siblings, positive words to describe yourself. But what I find best is thinking about who you are. You are a kind person. Think about all the activities that you've been doing this week. Or if you want to describe yourself being kind and positive and friendly and unique and courageous, all of those things that you have communicated this week. And take this forward with you. You write, I am at the top, you can have one word, you can have many words, up to three, and maybe on the back you want to have designs or you just want to keep it plain. It's up to you. But stick it somewhere where you can see it, whether it's on your bedroom wall, maybe it's at your desk before you're about to begin your homeschooling tasks, and have a look at it. Say it to yourself three times whenever you see it, and that self-belief will be in there and grow and you will have a mindset to believe that you are kind, that you are friendly, you are courageous, you are wonderful in so many ways. You have participated really well in Mental Health Awareness Week 2020 and I hope that some of the tasks that we have carried out today you can be carrying out every day, each day going forward this year. Give yourself a round of applause well done in participating in Mental Health Awareness Week 2020.